okay, it's the mini time. I'm going to be setting this up today. So hopefully, um, if you've got yourself one of these new um, mini moldens that just appeared on the Filofax websites, um, then hopefully you'll have a few ideas about what you can do to set up yours um, as well. I've been giving it a lot of thought. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Thanks for joining me. Um, okay, confession time in true lockdown style. I'm in my pyjamas right now. It's Tuesday. It's dinner time. I've been in all day. Never mind. <laughs> so, can you relate? Anyway, um, so hopefully then you saw the uh, the setup. Sorry, not the setup. The unboxing video um, of this. It's so tiny. It's really, really, really tiny. Can I just compare this to personal size for you? Uh, if you don't know what kind of size we're looking at. So this is a Filofax Mini. Um, it's brand new in this version. They've been out for a while um, and they've got this rather nifty little back um, pocket. So I'm gonna be using this one as my wallet for the summer. Um, I put a lot of thought into how to use this because they're so dinky and so compact. Um, I don't think it's gonna be um, like much of an everyday one, but it's gonna be brilliant for a really lightweight on the go planner. Um, you can see how small these rings are, look, they're teeny tiny. So I'm being quite minimal with what I actually include in here. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge to set it up um, because obviously the first thing I do is to take all of the insides out and then just do it all from scratch. Um, just because I'm a geek and I find that fun. Um, but also there aren't many pockets on it. So um, it's been a bit of a challenge really to think about how I can make it look nice because I need it to look nice. But how cute is this little pocket here? Um, I'm blatantly going to be using that in this one. Instead of using it for clips and stuff like that, I'm going to be using this for some spare change, um, which makes it just super practical. Um, okay, so do you want to see what I got then? Here we go. Right, oh, before I say, I'm, I'm going to have a sip of the coffee. Today will be the day I finish the coffee. Okay, um, so let me see what I've got first of all then. So, like I tend to do normally, I always start with the dividers. So, this is what I've got this time. I've got my, move that out of the way for a second. I've got my inbox dashboard. Um, and then I've got three kind of coordinated um, dividers to go with it. So the story with this, because there's always a story. Um, for a start, I thought it looked pretty with the colour. Um, well, has anyone else heard that phrase, blue and green should never be seen? Like, you don't put those colours together, but I think that looks quite cute. I like it. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's, as I mentioned, we're in lockdown. Um, we are, well, like, personally, like, I'm like about a month away from my 10 year wedding anniversary. We really wanted to go back to um, Italy um to celebrate um which is where we went on our honeymoon um we went to Sorrento oh my god it was gorgeous um just not gonna happen but these just remind me of walking around and just seeing all like the gorgeous ceramic shops so I'm just thinking okay I need like a bright and cheerful holiday theme I think for this one just to give me a bit of a perk up um so what I've got on here then I've got monthly weekly and notes do you see how teeny those little tabs are um, what I want to make sure of is that they don't poke out too much. So if I just put them in for you so you can see, they're a lot smaller than I normally would make them, but, <coughs> excuse me, but I don't want them to get too knocked around um, because this is a wallet. Um, I want them to be really, really extra durable. Um, when it's the last little while and I don't want them getting just completely battered by all sorts of junk I'm carrying around in my bag. Um, so I like the look of that. But um, what I did as well, I was worried about the dashboard um, getting scuffed. I tend to have, um, when I do my dashboards, like a matte finish. I don't know if that picks it up in the light, but um, I didn't want it to get scratched by the zip. So I've got um, a little cover to go on that one, which I think is just going to give me just that little bit of protection. Um, and I've got one for the back as well. Um, and the one from the back I've just covered in washi tape. 
just in case. This is my wallet. I don't think I really need to have washi tape in my wallet, but why not, huh? Anyway, so that's like the bare bones bit. So let's just go through. So I am so fond of having an inbox, some place to just scribble it down, um, scribble anything down that comes into your head and you haven't got time to find the right section. Maybe you haven't labelled your week or something like that. Um, so I'm going to have in the front of it, um, in the inbox section, just a little bit of um, just grid paper, just really basic. Um, and then I'm going to have in the monthly section, um, it was a bit of a challenge really to think about what to do um, for a month that would kind of make sense. I didn't want to do any dated stuff, partly because I couldn't be bothered to because it takes ages. And printing it just makes me want to lose the will to live. So it's very rare you find dated stuff <laughs> in my things. Um, but I thought these were just small enough um, to let me just write down a couple of bits and pieces um, that I need. So I'm going to just have these undated monthly inserts, um, I'll probably fill in maybe like two months at a time. I don't even have enough in here for the whole year because I'm keeping it small because of these rings. But what I have done, um, oh my God, I had such fun doing this. It's so cute. So <laughs> I've done some tiny dots matching, of course. So I've got some tiny little dots um, and some tiny little icon stickers. So I'm going to put those in my monthly section. So if I don't want to write, then I can always add some of these because they're cute. So why not, huh? Um, so I've just got basic ones like you know, doctor's appointment or going out for coffee as if restaurants, again, as if shopping, hair, please. I have a root situation happening. And also birthdays. Um, so I've got that section ready. And then I've got a weekly section. Um, and again, with the weekly, I didn't want to have it so it was dated. Ooh, ooh, losing them. Um, so what I've got is just a very, very basic um, grid overview of each day. So it's surprising, actually, because if you make things really teeny, you can get decent amount of space to write in. Now, this is not going to be my everyday write everything in it planner. You know, it's just not. Um, but what it might be is writing down appointment times, um, reminders, or I'm stuck a slug of coffee. Reminders, you know, like things that float into my head when I'm out and about. Um, this is just enough, to be fair. And I've got a little note space down here as well. So all I was gonna do was write the date at the top, add the dates um, on each page. Maybe again, set up maybe like three weeks at a go. Um, and just add those to it really. And again, um, there's just enough space to add some of my little teeny dots um, or teeny icon stickers as well. So I'll just whack those in the front again. Um, I don't think you really need anything else. I mean, I've just, the idea of having um, a planner in your wallet, oh my God, that's just like the best thing ever, isn't it? But it's, it's kind of new. Um, and I don't know if you remember, um, but I had a, a pocket size one, which was brilliant. Um, that was when my life was a bit more busy. Um, at the moment, it's just really not. But actually this size, I think is gonna be more practical. Um, and I think you tend to use it for different stuff when it's your wallet. It is just that out and about, you know, like this things come into your head, you just need somewhere to write it down so you don't forget it. Um, and that's kind of it. This is perfect for that. Um, and then what I thought, I'm going to really, really need in here for definite above most other things um, is a really decent note section. So I've got a load of note paper in here as well. Again, just some basic coordinated um, grid stuff. So if I want to, um, I might use this as a tick list. I might just like draw a little line down and use it for a tick list. Or, you know, if you're going somewhere and you're kind of like making a shopping list before you go, like, oh, God, I'm really allowed to go out for a coffee. Sometimes I'd sit in a coffee shop and think, right, what do I need to get from the supermarket in a minute? And I just want somewhere to just write it all down. Um, this is just like your ideal space for it, really, isn't it? Um, so I love that. Right, so let's put these spares I've got because I didn't want to just have 
only a couple of pages of stickers so I went overboard with the stickers because I thought they were cute so I'm going to add those in there um what I've also got um and again I've got no idea how you actually get these but from what I gather it's a bit of a rarity look ha <laughs> ha now I picked up a black one of these um, off eBay a little while ago, thinking I might prefer that one, but actually I'm just, I'm really feeling the colour at the moment. I think it's summer is doing it, but I'm going to really look forward to setting a black one later. Um, but look at that, how practical is that? I've got no idea where you get these from, but oh my God, this is great. So the black one I picked up off eBay just had those inside. Oh, well, I just trapped it. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, so, so super practical. Um, so I am loving this. As you can see, the rings are super teeny. You don't want to overstuff it. But then again, you're not going to be overstuffing it, are you? Because it's a wallet. So there we go. Now, onto an extra couple of little bits. Um, because it's my out and about wallet, I'm just going to put this in in case anyone says, Oh, what do you do? And give us some stickers. This is what I do, I play with stickers. Um, and also what I've got, um, I had some, I had some paper, I've just, look at this, how extra is this? I just trimmed it down, I just trimmed, it was square, the edge off, so that it will just fit in there really nicely. Um, ever since I started doing those tiny little grid pads for um, my other planners, I've loved the idea of having like a little extra sheet that you can just whack in for a little bit of extra space and I just thought those were cute so I'm keeping those in there um and I've also got I just couldn't resist look a couple of little journal cards so oh, just, why can't I go back oh it would make me so happy um so I'm just gonna keep this in the front just just because just for a little bit of color because I can um and then I'm gonna have I think in my weekly spread, um, it's the sea. Oh, I'd love to see the sea. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop going on about how it was leave. <laughs> I don't mind being at home. I like it actually, but it would be nice to go in the sea, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, and also, um, I know on pens, there's a pen loop. Um, for a size comparison, do you want to laugh? Look, this is a Tombow. Look, <laughs> look how big that is. Um, so what I've got, I thought this was a black one. It's not, it's brown, randomly. You can get um, the Paper May Inkjoy um, pens in a mini version. Now, I love the Inkjoy pens. They're so smooth. Um, and look, it fits in there so nicely. I have got a black one. Mm, she says, cramming it in. Um, I do have a black one. Um, don't know where it's gone. Never mind. I'm not using brown anyway, because that just doesn't go, does it? Um, but look what I found as well. Look, it's a swanky Filofax pen. Um, I got this off Amazon and that fits in a lot better. Almost like it was made by the same company or something, huh? Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Dad would like to talk on Alexa apparently. No, go away. Um, so <laughs> let me just turn that off. So I've got an Alexa device right next to my desk. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, look, doesn't that fit really nicely? I love that. And again, look, I didn't think, I normally have side tabs, but I didn't think it'd be a good idea because it's so snug in there. That's just, just right, isn't it? There's plenty of room to stuff it, which is good because I'm thinking that because it's my wallet, I'm gonna have stuff crammed in there. I'm gonna have stuff crammed in here. I'm gonna have stuff crammed in there. and. Maybe not so much crumped in there, to be fair. That would be nice. Um, but it feels like there's room for that, which is good. And this feels like more of an actual, I know it's not called pocket sized, but it actually feels like pocket sized. Um, I'm tending to go out at the moment because I've got that little to do. When I do venture to a shop to get myself some milk or something, um, I just take my wallet um, or just my phone. Um, this, I feel like I just to carry that really easily and it doesn't like, you know, doesn't look like I'm just carrying my wallet, does it? Maybe it looks like I'm carrying my planner everywhere with me because I'm obsessed, but uh, it's not too far from the truth, <laughs> to be fair. So, yeah. anyway, um, so yeah, I love it. I'll just give you a sneak peek of the black one. Look, ah, oh, I love this black one so much. I've not done anything with it at the moment. I've just got some random spares in there, but 
they age really well i think with these this is a second hand one um it's gone a little bit more floppy i love the contrast stitching i am just really looking forward to having that later but it's summer i want to feel like it's summer and this at the moment when i open it up um and when i see the colors in it i just i just feel a bit happier i just like the idea of that anyway i hope that's given you some ideas um about how you can use this either if you've got one or if you're thinking of getting one um when i did the unboxing video um I had a load of comments about like, oh, kind of, I can't wait to see what, what you're going to do with it. Or like, oh, it's, it's really small. Um, and anytime I post anything on Instagram to do with it, I get comments on like, how on earth are you going to use this? Um, and my basic answer was like, I don't know, but I'm determined to make it work. But actually, I can see this working. I think this is going to be good. I like the idea of this for making appointments when I'm out and about. I like the idea of thinking, right, where should I be? What have I got on this week? Um, when I'm out and about and I love having just a little bit of space to just write stuff when I'm out and about as well um, so I think this is going to work out really well anyway there you go I'll shut up then um, what I'm working on now um, in the meantime is my A5 setup oh, I'll just give you a quick look I'm still in my A6 I'm still loving it um, I think it's just, it's a really, really good size. Um, love, love, love the A6, but um, life is going to be getting busier sooner or later. So I'm going to be working on this. Look at this. Look at that. It's dwarfed, isn't it? That's crazy. So it's going to be an A5. I'm not going to open it because I've got my dashboard, I've got my dividers, and I don't want to spoil anything because I love this one. This is going to be good. But anyway, this is not yet. This is when life gets a bit busier and I've got a little while to perfect it, first of all. Oh, look, I need my brown pit. Look at that, that's just crazy, isn't it? That's like one extreme to the other, isn't it? And look how matched they are. Ah, oh, totally accidental. Anyway, I'm going to go. So if you... Um, oh, coffee hang on so if you see um one of these and you're thinking of getting one have a go drop me a line see what you do with yours um if you find some great use for it that you think i should know about i'd love to hear it um we just need some plans now don't we to put in these planners that would be nice um anyway share if you uh know someone that uh is interested in this kind of thing um i'm sure it's not just me um and also give it a like if you like the video um it helps me to see um what kind of content to produce next um and are you subscribed please subscribe do you know i'm on at the moment how many like 800 something subscribers and i think my parents have just subscribed yes if you're watching mom and dad hello anyway <laughs> On that note, I'll see you later, okay? I'll see you later, rather. Bye-bye.